I'm not going to talk about the sign. Everybody talks about the sign. I'm not talking about the sign. Everybody talks about how it's a cool sign. It's really iconic. It's an amazing sign. Wow, what a great sign. I'm not talking about the sign. I'm not talking about Sandra Bullock and how it was featured in a Sandra Bullock movie. I'm not going to do it. I'm not talking about any of that stuff at all. The Wolfies, getting hot dog. It's a nice sign. I just spared you guys from a cheesy joke. But is it a sign of a great hot dog? You're welcome. You know, they don't use big roasting forks like that in there when they cook the hot dogs. So I'm anticipating a classic Chicago-style hot dog experience today at Wolfie's. Wolfie's adheres to that Magnificent Seven canon of toppings, considered by many to be the most classic of Chicago-style toppings. When you put yellow mustard, neon green sweet relish, chopped white onion, sliced tomato, dill pickle spear, sport peppers, and celery salt on an all beef frank, preferably with a natural casing, in a poppy seed bun, and the frank was steamed or boiled, you've got a classic Chicago style hot dog. But when you put all of that on top of a frank that's been flame grilled, you've got a char dog. One of the amazing things about Wolfie's, in addition to what I'm hoping is gonna be really great food, is that these hot dogs are only $2.69 each. That is a frugal deal. I'm gonna try the char dog. Here we go. So that flavor is a little bit more complex. Because you can taste a little bit of that, that black and charring. You can taste the, the fact that it's been flame grilled. Something delicious happens when you cook meat over a flame grill. Because it's got that higher heat, it starts to char a little bit, it starts to brown. It's actually a chemical reaction. I don't understand all the chemistry behind it, but it involves the amino acids that are in the protein in the meat, along with carbohydrates and water. When that heat gets there, it throws sort of a little flavor party. There's something a little extra magical here. So that chemical reaction I was talking about, it's called the Maillard reaction. You can Google it if you actually care. But basically, those ingredients turn into a bunch of different compounds when they're heated up. And it changes the way that, it changes the flavor. It also changes the way it looks. That's why it starts to brown, it starts to char. And that's something you can't get with steaming or boiling. Take another bite. Thumbs up, that's delicious. This is a really good hot dog. I find the char dog to be a more robust counterpoint to all the sweet and tart things that are happening with the toppings of the Chicago style hot dog. So in 1974, Chicago Tribune Sunday Magazine named Wolfie's Hot Dog the number one hot dog in Chicago. And it's now historic article, Man Bites Stuff. Wolfie's Hot Dog is archetypal of the Chicago style hot dog. It has all of the most virtuous qualities of the Chicago style hot dog. No half measures, nothing missing, and nothing added. And they do it at a remarkably reasonable price.